Hi guys, Chris here from JTD Cleaning, Grey Water Drainage. I am back. Unfortunately, we missed a video last week due to me being under the weather. Nothing COVID related, I'm pleased to report. Today, we're out with our sister company, Grey Water Drainage. We're gonna take you around some surveys we've got planned for insurance companies, pest control companies, and show you the process that we go through when surveying drains at properties. So we're at our first one here. This one, they've got some water ingress into the garage. So we're gonna try and source whether that's coming from the drains. So let's get the kit out and see what we can find. We have to take lots of pictures, especially for insurance clients like this one, front of the property, back of the property, to see if the rainwater lines are shared at the top and, and bits and pieces like that. We'll also map it all out on every survey we do. Um, so we take lots of pictures and then they'll be put into the report. So we'll go, we'll take up the drains now and then uh, put the camera down there and see what we can see. Yeah. Looking at the height of the, down the actual drain cover and where the damp is downstairs, I don't think this is anything drain related because the drains are actually higher than the garage floor and it seems the damp is rising from the bottom up. But we'll still do a survey of the different branches. So this rainwater one, another rainwater gully there and the main sewer, just to make sure everything's intact. But a quick observation, you can usually work out how things are and, and what condition they're in and I think this all looks pretty good and I don't think it's the cause of what's going on in there but hey, we'll, uh, we'll chuck the camera down and just have a double check. So we use um, Scampro cameras for uh, grey water drainage. This drainage camera has got a changeable head so it can be changed for different diameters. Most standard are 4 inch and 6 inch drain lines, depends. Um, we use this. What this enables us to do, we can do a full report on this, so we can do section by section. So what we're gonna do here is manhole one, probably down to manhole two there. So we can do that as one section, redo another section. It records everything, we, as gives us capability to take pictures of any defects that are in there. It's got a light that comes on, so obviously you can see within the drains. Um, so we're gonna do manhole one to manhole two. We're gonna survey the two branches, one for foul stack here, and the rainwater stack that's behind Adam there and, and just make sure everything's okay. So in this manhole there are two branches, one which goes to a kitchen gully which is behind Adam. So we put the camera up there to check for any cracks, any displacement where water could seep through and potentially go into the garage which we're pleased to report there are none. The second arm we looked at, second branch was for the foul stack here which is um, for your toilet waste etc. Again, we're looking for any cracks, displacement, this, we're in Tunbridge Wells, um, and the drains down here are in good condition, built very well, no cracks, no displacement, so there's no way that water can escape and possibly cause any damp in the garage. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna survey from this drain down to the one at the bottom, which covers the length of the house, and then goes out into the main sewer across the road, just to make sure there's nothing in the main sewer. Um, but so far, so good, and there's no reason to believe that any water is escaping into the garage so we'll do this last one from here down to there and um, hopefully that will be good as well rule out um, rule out everything so so we finished the survey down in rural tunbridge wells now we've surveyed the main drains we've checked all the gullies the rainwater and the store and the foul lines i don't think that there's anything related to the drains that is causing the rising damp in the garage now with properties like this it's all concrete um, there could be a slight crack somewhere within the concrete. It could be a multitude of options that is causing this gentleman some rising damp in his garage. But our job as a drainage contractor is to come here and make sure that the drainage system is in good condition and not causing that issue. And I don't believe it is. So what we'll do, all this footage then goes to an insurance company and they will rule out that it's drains and they will probably send another contractor out to do some investigation of where else that is coming from. But from a drainage perspective, this one is all okay. So we'll type all that up, get it over to the insurance contractor and uh, we'll leave it to them to decide what to do next. 
So we've finished over in Tunbridge Wells. That concludes this particular property. So we're going to now head over to Sittingbourne where we've got a tenanted property where they keep having reoccurring drainage issues. So we're going to have a look and see what's going over there. And then after that one, we've got to head over for a pest control contractor where they believe they've got some rats in the line. So that'll be the one after that. So let's jump back in the van and get back over to Sim. So we've arrived at survey number two, which is over in Alresford, Kent. This is for a pest control client of ours. They have had reports of an issue of pests, mouses, rats, etc., entering manholes at various properties that are behind me. So we're going to survey them, check the condition of the manhole, see if there's any access or egress points for any pests and make some recommendations of how they can stop that. That's usually with things like rat walls, which are one directional flaps that stop pests entering drain lines, make sure they're not eating away at anything, bait, etc. So we're going to get the camera out, get surveying and see what we can find with these ones. Yes, this is mouse droppings. Clearly, yeah, there and there. So there, there is definitely mouse and pest activity in this drain. So straight away, we're going to make a recommendation to put some rat blockers. Probably one, two, three. There straight away, because you can clearly see there's mouse droppings at the bottom there and on the wall here. So tenants in this case are correct and there is mouse activity, rat activity in these drains. One section done, now we're going to go from foul wall to manhole 2 as you've labelled it and we're going to survey both upstream and downstream see if we can see anything either side of there so jump over foul manhole 2 so we've surveyed from foul number 2 to the manhole in the garden here all looks in good condition no evidence of any any rats there's no cracks or or displacement so we'll survey upstream now and that will conclude this visit of this property what scout in that one that white stuff that's like scout that's like build up with fat oil grease dishwasher tablets, washing machine powder, etc. Builds up. Like an artery over time, they can cause blockages themselves because it builds up around the perimeter of the wall and then it goes slowly like that, which then restricts the flow and causes blockages. Um, but that's not what we're here for for this particular visit. And again, that particular run upstream, there's no issues, there's no cracks, there's no displacement. So it looks like the pests are just using this just to travel up and down. Um, not necessarily accessing or egressing in the drain lines. So we'll put some wrap walls in, that'll be a recommendation, that'll be monitored by the pest control company. So that wraps up this one. I'm gonna put all the kit away. I'm gonna jump over to sitting pool now for our third and final survey of today. So we're at our third and final location today. We've head over to HQ, near HQ anyway, sitting pool. This one's a domestic survey. The client has had reoccurring blockages loads of them over the last three months so she's asked for us to do a drainage survey so we're going to put the camera down and see if we can see any particular reason why this drain keeps on blocking so let's get the kit out and jump down those drains again so we've just knocked and spoken to the tenant and the toilet is actually blocked at the moment which given this is domestic situation is a good opportunity for us to check how the tenant's using the toilet if there's any wipes down there or anything like that make sure everything's running okay so we'll get our tools we're going to clear the blockage and then we'll survey the manhole with the camera no that's your blockage that's so that's why the toilets are backed up because the drains will flow here and there's obviously some, an obstruction 
at this manhole here, you can see the stuff going round it, the water's escaping round it, but very slowly. So what we'll do, we'll get a gully grab out and we'll try and retrieve whatever that is there and see if we can free up the blockage. Right, let's see what this is. It's an interceptor. Oh, I reckon that's an interceptor. Usual suspects, though, look. Baby wipes. Baby wipes, under all circumstances, do not biodegrade. There we go. So again, like we was at the property earlier, there's a Bushman trap there. So basically it's like a U-bend, which before anything gets into the main sewer, acts as a trap. So if there's something down there that shouldn't be, it will trap wipes, any odd objects, stopping them getting in the main sewer, which could then cause an issue for everybody on the road. So that's what these traps are for. So this particular tenant, we're gonna survey the drains now just to make sure there's nothing there. The wipes blocking the interceptor but he's obviously had a backup in the shower and the toilet which has caused the floor to be wet so I'm going to give it a little bit of a clean down in here for the gentleman make sure it's all okay and then we'll put the camera down the line to see if it's something else that might be causing the blockage but from what I've seen outside it looks like it's wipes but this is a block of an apartment so it could be a shared line and someone above is putting wipes in the line um, because there's no wipes in here so um, yeah so we'll wash down get the camera out and then we'll uh, put that down and see if we can see any obvious issues. The blockage was not in the gentleman's toilet, it was here. So that tells me that this keeps getting blocked and he, being a ground floor flat, is the first one to see the consequences of that. Um, the lady tenant said that she's had plumbers round on a couple of occasions and they've unblocked it relatively easily. It's quite easy to come and unblock this. Doesn't solve the reoccurring problem, which I believe is someone in this housing vicinity is using wipes and it's causing the trap to block because that's what the trap is there to do trap stuff that shouldn't be going into the main service just tried to get a camera down there as per one of our other jobs there is a, a non-return valve or a rat trap in the particular area we need to survey the manhole is too deep for me to get in um, so we're not going to be able to survey the drain for the lady unfortunately um, but we've, we've cleared the blockage and we'll advise her of the, um, the trap that's there I'm assuming she knows about it but um, yeah so not the job we turned out here to do but still we've got it clear for the gentleman so so that concludes episode five of the clean sweep guys and we've been out with the team at Greywall today carrying out various CCTV surveys as you can see a great tool with a diverse range of uses from domestic properties, leak investigation, pest control and a fantastic piece of kit. So if you need any CCTV assistance for your drains, make sure you get in touch with the team at Greywater. That concludes this episode. We've got some fantastic content coming down the road. Me and Adam are going to be flying all over the place bringing you cleaning and drainage related content. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow along on the journey. Thanks for checking in guys and we'll see you next week. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for checking in. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you want to see more cleaning business and behind the scenes at JCD Cleaning, then make sure you hit the subscribe button here. Likewise, if you want to watch a video that you may not have seen, you can do so here. Also, if you want to follow along on our other social platforms, you can find the links to that in the description below. Thanks for checking in again, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.